While social media is essential for businesses, having a web page is equally important, whether it's for showcasing products, portfolios, blogs, or just simply sharing your story. If you're new to web page design, Adobe Express, the quick and easy create anything app, makes it easy for business owners and solopreneurs to create a professional web page, even with no prior experience. So in this video, I'll be sharing a step-by-step -step guide on how to build a simple but stunning web page, perfect for beginners looking to establish their online presence. For this example, I'm gonna build a really simple landing page for a fictional company called Bean & Brew Street. And this web page's purpose is to just share their story. The first thing we're going to do is come over to the left up here to the plus icon. We're going to hit that and we're going to come down to web page. We can either start from scratch or we can pick a template. And I like using a template, especially if we are new to design, it makes the process a lot less overwhelming. Adobe Express kind of gives us a curated list of uh, templates that kind of work with the purpose of your web page. We can preview these web pages before we start. And over here in the left window, we can kind of scroll down and have a look and just see what that looks like. We'll have a look at community newsletter. This might work because this is photo and text heavy. We're gonna to wanna to go with this one because we're sharing story here. Normally I would recommend bringing in your own custom photos of your business. But for this example, we're just gonna use stock images because I don't have a roastery. So all we had to do really is go in and replace the images and replace the text and we can add slideshows and we can add other elements. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. But the first thing we're gonna do is work on what people are going to see in the beginning. So if I click on the background image, we can replace the image, delete the image, make this a short cover. We can also split this layout in half, but I actually prefer the small header up top. So we can just go undo up here on the right. These two arrows, we have redo and undo. So we can come up here to this little like theme button and it brings up a bunch of different themes. So we can kind of cycle through these to see which one fits our brand best. It's gonna change the typography. It's gonna change the colors as well. We're gonna go with crisp because I like that. We can replace the cover image by clicking on the header and hitting replace. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're choosing consistent and well-styled images throughout your design. And this is also going to help establish your brand identity as well. So if you have a logo that is really colorful and poppy, then you kinda want your images on your website to have that same feel. What about this one? We've got coffee beans, this works really well. We have our header image picked here and now we can start kind of filling in things. So with the template, we already have like a big header, a big place for text, and we have some images that we can replace as well. So let's paste in some text. Maybe we don't want this header. Select, delete. And when we delete it, the section goes away. So we have this grid, when we click on it, we can edit it, we can add our stock images or upload them. When we click on one of these images in the grid here, it gives us a bunch of options. So we can either replace it, make it a large photo. So if I click on that, it makes it a large photo. We can go back to undo, we can get rid of it. We can move it over one or move it back one. I'm just gonna start filling these images in with some of these stock photos. So if I come here and hit replace, I can kind of pick this image and that replaces that image with this nice latte photo. So now we have like a collection of images here in our grids. Down here, this is a really good opportunity for us to add like a little bit more text. So we can edit the text by, it's basically just like a text editor. You select it, paste in what you want. I'm gonna take this our roots and make this a title. So we'll delete the date. Here we have a little button. So we can either add a button linked out to something by editing that button we can change the text. You're gonna to wanna to think about what you want visitors to do when they arrive on your webpage. In this case, we're gonna to want to encourage our visitors to visit the cafe. So to do this, we're gonna to wanna to create a prominent button or link with text like visit us or check out our events. And we're gonna to wanna to replace this photo too. We're talking about Emma, so Emma's gonna look like this. This is Emma now, okay? So now we have like a nice big photo text. What if we want to add in something. So if we click the plus button, a box comes up, we can add photos, text, a button, a GIF video, but let's look at glide show, for example. So if we add a glide show, we can add a couple of background images. So let's pick this one here. That's a nice kind of cool one. And then let's pick this bean one. So as you can see, it made full size images in the background. And as we scroll, they kind of have this zooming in effect, it gives us a box to add content. So if we click here, we can either add photo, text, button, GIF, video, or our stuff. This is where you can access other designs that you've made in Adobe Express. So let's paste some of our text in here and we can change the formatting by selecting the text. And we can change the heading style and that's based off of the template style. We can actually take this text and drag it and drop it either to the left, the right, or a center here. Now we can also go ahead and add a button here as well. And so now we have, as we scroll, this kind of nice animation that brings text up. We have a nice big background photo. The glide show just adds a little bit of interest to the template, it adds a little bit of movement. We saw that the template included a grid, but we can also add our own grid by hitting the plus button, coming to photo grid here, 
And we just can start adding images. And now we have like a nice grid of three images. Okay, so say if we added our button here and we actually wanted this to be between the glide show and the grid, we can do that by clicking on the piece of content, clicking move, and then hitting the arrows to change the position of them. We got this template here, maybe we're done, but there's a bunch of other stuff in here that we don't want anymore. We can easily delete sections. We're going to click on it. We can hit delete. Yes, I want all three photos to be deleted. And now that section is gone. Once we're done, we can preview that as it would look um, on the web. So we hit this eyeball icon. If we don't like anything, we can go back and edit. If we wanna share this, we can come up to the right and click on share, publish to web, and then we can create a link. This publishes your project and then you can share this link to your published web page. So I hope this tutorial helps get you started on building a professional web page for your business. For more helpful tips and resources tailored to small businesses, don't forget to check out the Adobe Express channel.